Hello dear fellows, I'm Rudy Messiah. Welcome to another episode of Guitar Messiah. In this episode, I'm going to discuss the Tube Screamer. The Tube Screamer, unfortunately, you find a lot of guitarists use it as a jack of all trades. But in my opinion, it's not. Because unlike what some people say about it, it's not a transparent boost. Actually, it's the most colored boost you could ever have in your life. Three examples of transparent boost that I have used personally is the Mesa Boogie Tom Burst, the Exotic Pedals uh, RC Boost, amazing pedal, and the Black Star Depth One or Department One, the white pedal. I have in my studio on my pedal board the Tom Burst. I love this pedal because it has the four basic knobs the level, the gain, the highs, and lows. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to compare the Tom Burst to the TS9 that I have and I have adjusted the levels of both pedals to have the same level of volume and the same amount of gain. When I used the Tube Screamer, the low ends were scooped and the mid-range got boosted because it's a mid-range boost. But my argument is, if you want to boost the sound, it must sound like you have opened more gain on the amp. It must not change. Okay, let's try it now heavier sound. <laughs> The best way to see the difference between the two pedals is to try on clean. The Tube Screamer on clean sounds great. It's like, I want this sound for this part. It's not like that every time I want to boost the guitar, I'm gonna use that sound. So when can I use the Tube Screamer? In my opinion, in the clean, if you want for this part, this sound, or in the solo, in the soft solo sound, you'll use it alone. <laughs> I think on the neck pickup, it sounds great. The other way when you can use the Tube Screamer is to boost the solo sound, not the rhythm sound. When I used the tombers for the boost, it kept the original tone of the guitar, but in my opinion, the Tube Screamer have given it a softer touch. That's very nice for a solo, even for a heavy metal solo. Mm -hmm. 